Now, Foschini has uh, reported an 11% increase in full-year headline earnings per share, up to 859 cents. The retailer's turnover increased by 10.9% to 13 billion rand, and Foschini has declared a dividend of 506 cents, up by 11%. Now, earlier, Arabile Gomede spoke to the CEO of Foschini, Doug Murray, about those earnings. Well, I think as we have said in the, the announcement, the festive season uh, was particularly disappointing. Um, more so on the jewellery and cell phone side, they are obviously um, items which are quite discretionary to the consumer, and it, they just weren't the items of choice over that, that period. Um, and so that, that certainly did, did not help. Um, so, and also over that period, we found that there was, without doubt, quite a significant slowdown in the unsecured lending through the country, um, and that was quite obvious in the RLC stats that came out for November trade, which showed negative growth for the retail sector. Uh, we had uh, um, small single-digit growth over that, that month. So we certainly have kept our, our heads um, above the... The, the market and gain market share over that time. Now, of course, you alluded to the unsecured lending space, and uh, um, you, you've spoken as well here that your retail book, of course, is around about 5.2 billion, an increase by 14 yeah. um, percent. How how are you actually dealing with that? I mean, we've obviously uh, gotten news from Saab saying that uh, unsecured lending is not a big risk, but for you as as, as a retailer, uh, how how is that that debt book sort of uh, being being held to to ransom? Well, look, I mean, we do 60% of our business is, is on credit, so it's obviously important to us. 14% growth is obviously um, uh, good growth, but that rate of growth is, is slowing. As your top line uh, slows, your, your book growth also uh, slows. And uh, with that, you will have obviously a lag effect of bad debt coming through, and it creates a... Uh, scissor effect as such on your credit ratios. That's something we understand, it's what we expect. So as long as we understand it and we, we manage that and then we take action to mitigate, mitigate against that, then, then whilst I would prefer the book to be growing all the time, we, we are a cyclical business, we, we understand that. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, you, you speak about being on top of it, hopefully, and, um, you know, you're, you're probably in the prime position as a retailer to, to, to take advantage of the market when it does finally turn. I mean, the rand has just hit around 10 rand to the dollar. Um, what, are you, what are you putting in place to sort of make sure that you optimize and, and, and really cash in when the, when the market does finally turn and really come to, to, to its best part, which, which it certainly will? Well, look, I think the, the, the reality is that we have uh, short-term issues here which we have to deal with. So we have to control our costs, we have to control our uh, all expenses, we have to manage our stock very carefully, we have to take action on the credit side. But, but notwithstanding all of that, we have very, very clear strategies in, in the group. Uh, in terms of improving our supply base, our supply chain, uh, reducing uh, our lead times all the time, getting more product in quicker, um, uh, always trying to have the best offer for our customers, the most fashionable product the, at the right price. That's still all, that's our focus. All of that continues. That's business as usual. Just now moving on to obviously your expansion then, um, you look to have, you've just breached the 100 mark in terms of stores outside of South Africa. How, how's that faring? How's that going? Um, and do you, do you plan to make that um, a, a core functionality and a core uh, sort of uh, responsibility moving forward now? Uh, well, I think obviously Africa is, uh, uh, but it's, it is a long-term play. Uh, that's a five to ten year um, strategy. Uh, we would expect to double the number of stores and probably the turnover over the next three years. But it is long term and at the moment um, a lot of the work goes into actually understanding how to trade in those countries from a legislative point of view, a tax point of view, logistical point of view and most importantly from uh, a product point of view because there are, there are differences in product selection that are required for those countries. So that's where we are at the moment. And Doug, I'm, I'm just going to put you on the spot here just finally with my last question. We've seen obviously the stepping down of quite a number of CEOs in, in at least the last six months or so. Uh, how's your future sort of looking at Fushini? Well, uh, unless the, the supervisory board have a different view, this time next year I'm quite sure you'll also be uh, speaking to me.